Okay, after a short break, I'm back. I readjusted the camera just a little bit here, just to see if I could squeeze in a little bit more space here. But where do we leave off? I had two cards in my hand, the Scrapyard and the Beacon. I had three cards out of 10. I have no uh, goods, so I'm not nearly anywhere close to triggering the end. Uh, my opponent, the AI, he has one good. He needs uh, 12 to trigger the end, and he currently has three, four, five. He has six buildings in his uh, compound or uh, tableau. And at this point, it's my turn. So let's see what I can do here. Well, I've got four metal and eight energy. I don't like any of the cards for contractors right now. I really need to get some more cards in my hand. Um, as part of my market phase, I can pick one of those cards there, one of the blueprints. I'm thinking I might take the, lab the laboratory. That's pretty good. So let's go ahead and take the laboratory. Uh, I might be able to build that because I have uh, another wrench icon. This automatically fills back up. And look at that, another laboratory. Um, that's all I can do in the work, or excuse me, the market phase. So let's go ahead and get to the um, work phase. So we're gonna go ahead and roll our uh, six dice. Remember I had two dice left over from the cryolab last turn. And I have a four, four, and four. Oh, I have a trifecta there. That could get me a lot of metal. I have a one and a two and a five. Um, I've got pretty decent metal right now. I'd actually like to get more cards in my hand. Um, well, this might work out for me anyway. So if let, let, we want to see if we can build anything else other than the laboratory right now. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and put the one and the two in here. That will get me um, two research cards. So I'm going to draw from the top of the deck. I have a trash compactor that costs a shovel. And uh, let's see, what else do I get? I get a university. Um, well, not sure like that one. So university uh, says anytime, let's take a look at this. So anytime I uh, discard a... Uh, a blueprint from my hand, I could take a, uh, a a dice that I have not placed yet, and I could either increase the value by one, or I could subtract the value by one. Uh, the trash compactor says if I have two like dice, and I get rid of two or discard two uh, blueprints from my hand, I get two goods. I do like that. Oh, you know what? And I just remembered something. Gain two energy after building a card. I don't think I did that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe that I, after I built this golem, I never, it, it, it's very important that you pay attention to these things. So I did not do that. So technically, uh, once I built that, I got two more energy. So that should bring my energy up to 10 actually. So hopefully I won't make any more mistakes, but it didn't impact the game one way or the other. Um, I could also build the trash compact, or excuse me, I could get rid of the trash compactor to get me uh, build my first monument. And this beacon here uh, would get me two points. That's not bad either. So, oh boy, I like drawing a card when you gain a good. So I think what I'm going to do first things first here is, ah, oh boy, there's zero points on this university. And I don't know if I'm rolling six dice, I don't know how, how important it is for me to use the plus or minus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the university, use its wrench icon right there. And while I use that wrench icon, I'm going to go ahead and build that uh, laboratory. And again, because, and that cost me one metal and four energy. So one, 
two, three, four, and that goes into the appropriate pools. But again, because uh, after I built a card, which I just did, I get two energy back. So that actually only cost me one metal and two energy. And I've now got four cards worth a value of two points. And I could go for broke right now. I kind of like, if I build this, this will get my fifth card out, fifth out of ten. I don't think I'm going to use that trash compactor, and I will get a couple more points. And when I build this card, what's nice is I will get uh, two of this en energy back as well. So I might do that. So I'm going to get rid of the trash compactor right now, and use its shovel icon, to go ahead and build um, the beacon, and that cost two metal and four energy. One two, three, oops, three, four. And now that I've done that, again, because I just built a card, I get two more energy back. So that only cost me uh, two metal and two energy. And now I have five of my 10 cards. But unfortunately, that only leaves me with the scrap yard left. And I got to figure out what to do with the rest of this dice. Well, I think it's a no-brainer. I take the two fours, I put them in the mine because I have matching that gets me one extra. So that should get me three metal. So I replenish my metal reserves. And uh, I can't use the dice anywhere other than the cryolab. So this will guarantee that I get to roll those two dice again. So next turn, I'll still get six dice. So now let's uh, get the AI to roll. All right, so he rolls very good for me. All fives, very high cards. Uh, this is going to be pretty easy. He's with the green. He's going to take the incinerator. That's the first card there in yellow. So he adds a second card to his yellow tableau. And I really don't have to. I'm going to tilt the camera a little bit, but you see everything else was a five he doesn't have five of anything so uh it's kind of pointless we're just going to move on to the next turn oh and we do have to refill this back up so we have the foundry so I'm clean up my dice i'm going to get my six back for my next roll and then we'll go ahead and rotate the camera back into place all right, well, I definitely don't want to do anything here. The only thing I could do is get rid of him and pick up the miner for three metal, but I don't have any cards anyway. So first thing I'm going to do is, oh boy, I don't even like any of those cards. There's nothing there that generates me goods at all. Um... I guess I could take the megalith, but that's kind of expensive. But it does generate me three points at the end, and it gets me a wrench. You know what? I'll, I'll just take the megalith. I'm not sure I like it, but we'll see what we can get. I'm definitely going to have to pick up some more cards. Oh, there's another cryolab. So we could potentially, if we built that, we could theoretically get eight dice into play. But uh, I think we're okay with, with just six right now. So... Let's go ahead and roll my six dice. Move these out and see what we got here. We've got two, two, three, three, four, and five. Well, I definitely want to get cards in my hand. So um, I'll use these two lower ones here to get get two cards so we've got the power plant and we've got a concrete plant well that's not too bad i kind of like the concrete plant but i can't build it though i don't have another shovel but if i get two dice uh, that are matching and i put in metal that equals that amount uh, that generates me two goods it's also worth one point power plant it costs me three metal and a cog um, 
as much I could spend uh, any face value of any dice and that would give me that much energy. Um, I'm not sure about that. Can I build any of these? I could build the megalith. I suppose I could, but I just don't know if I want to. Uh, if I built the scrap yard though, that gets me zero points, but anything I build after that, I could start generating more metal. And that still gets me closer to six. But I have not produced any goods yet at all. Well, let's farm out the rest of my dice and see if anything else comes to, to mind right now. So, I could put the threes in here in the energy. I could be swimming in energy. So that, because that matches, I get an extra one. So it's the face value plus one. So that would get me seven energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Wow, I've got a lot of energy. So I don't really need to build the power plant. I could build the megalith because I have this beacon out as one. This costs me one less here. So the megalith costs one less metal per monument. Well, this is considered a monument. So this would cost me four metal, two energy, and I would get that two energy back. Or I could get rid of the megalith. You know what? I might do that. I might get rid of the megalith right now. And if I do that, I could... That gave me a wrench to build this scrapyard. The scrapyard will cost me one metal and two energy. And again, I'm triggering this card here as a gain two energy after building a card. So I'm going to grab those two energy right back. So that was a wash. That was awesome. That, that card only cost me one uh, resource to build. Unfortunately, I got zero points out of that. And is there anything else I can do? I can't draw a card because I didn't gain didn't gain any goods. Boy, this is I'm, I can't believe I haven't built anything generating me goods yet. All right, uh, I guess the last two dice I will put on the cryo lab, so that'll get me those same two dice back next time around. And let's go for the AI. So let's bring Dice Tower up, see what he does. Okay, so he rolled a two on the green dice. So the first thing he's doing is he's taking the recycling plant. Another blue card goes into his blue tableau. So he has four cards there. Oh boy. So he's going to gain some points here. So he's got a two, a three, a one, and a, a purple three. So let's see. We're going to rotate the camera a bit. So the blue two, he's going to score a point for there because he's got four cards. Uh, it's greater than or equal to the two that he rolled. On the red card, he is going to gain another point. Another good, because he's got one card there. Uh, nothing for the yellow. Uh, nothing there. And purple, he has nothing purple. So he is three. He's, he needs nine more goods left to trigger end game. So just the camera back. Collect my dice. I really need to start getting some goods. Refill this there. Clean up these dice. And what do I want? Boy, there's still nothing that builds anything. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, the foundry might be an easy build for me. I could get rid of, no, I don't want to do that. Um, I only have three metal. I could get rid of the power plant to get me three more metal. But I'm going to get a metal back if I build something too. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to grab the foundry here. Um, 
we'll refill this up another megalith so now we'll go on to the um, work phase i'm going to roll my six dice okay so i've got a pair of ones a pair of sixes and a three and a five what can i do here well I want to get some cards into my hand. So I'm going to spend, I've got a lot of energy right now. So I'm going to put these two in here. That's going to get me three cards. So one, I get the solar array. I get another monument, an obelisk. And I get a biolab. That's pretty good. Okay, I think we want to build the biolab because that'll start getting me, generating me goods, I think. So... <clears throat> What do I want to do with the rest of the cards? Well, I think it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, I'm going to use these two sixes in the mine because I have a matching one that gets me an extra metal. So I'm going to get three metal there. I'm going to save these two dice for next turn, but I can still build. And so I want to build this biolab. I don't think, I already have a solar array, so let's go ahead and get rid of the solar array. I'm using the cog up there to build that. That will cost me one metal and uh, three energy. But because I built something, I've got two energy for building that. And... I also gain one metal after building a card. So I'm going to, my factories are at least generating uh, energy and metal, but I have no goods. And I currently have seven of the 10 cards. Uh, I, I could, I could build another card. I could either build the foundry or the power plant that would get me, um, I put X on this card, I would get that much in energy, but I think I've got a lot of energy there. And if I put a card or a pip there, dice plus energy that matches that, I would get that much metal. I think I, nah, I don't really see the point in either one of those other than they get me one point each. So I don't think I'm going to do anything. I'm going to call it right there. I'm going to hold on to these four cards. Maybe I can trade these cards in for uh, wipe out something else. So go ahead and uh, put my hands down here and the AI will now roll. So here's their five dice. Okay, five. So he's going to get a card here. And he's going to get a uh, another red one. So he's got the second card in his red tableau. And I'm just kind of adjusting this here. And he wipes out this entire row, which might not be too bad because I wasn't too keen on those cards anyway. So he flips out. Oh, I like that robot. Oh, I like this aluminum factory. That'll start generating me goods. But it's kind of expensive, though, uh, to get that production up and running. Uh, I could spend a metal here to roll an extra dice that turn. Harvester's pretty nice. Uh, you could put two equal dice uh, either for metal or for energy. But uh, let's see what else he has here. So let's rotate our, let's take care of finish his turn. So he has a blue one. Yikes, that will get him uh, one good. He has five on red. Uh, he's only got two, so nothing there. He does have two that matches that. So he's gonna get a point there, yikes. Still doesn't have any purple, which is good, and nothing on the monolith. So at the end of this round, he has uh, two, four. He's got five out of his 12 goods, 
and he's got four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got nine buildings. And I have um, two, four, six. I have seven out of the ten buildings, and I have absolutely no goods. Yikes. So clean up the dice. Move this tower back. And I think we'll do one more round here, and then we'll take another break and move into... Uh, Part three, and I think that maybe part three might be the last last uh, one in the series here, because I think by that time I should be able to trigger end round. So we'll do one more here. Okay, is there anything I like up there? Get rid of these cards. Well, the obelisk. I could build the obelisk. That's not that expensive. No, I can't build the obelisk. I only have the one hammer. Um, can I get rid of anything? I don't like the foreman. He's too expensive. I don't necessarily see a card I like. Well, yeah, I could pick this and build the obelisk. Obelisk will score me points. Okay, I'm going to take the robot into my hand and we'll refresh the market there. And we'll go ahead and get ready to roll my, my dice. So rolling six dice. Oops. Okay. I've got a one, two threes, a six, and a four and a five. Well, let's go ahead and put the one right in there just to draw a card and that gets me another power plant huh i don't know if that does me any good let's see here what else can i do well i could build that obelisk mm, power plant i got two power plants i just don't really see them doing me anything right now. I have plenty of energy. The foundry isn't bad and that gets me one point, but it does cost a lot of energy. Concrete plant, oh, no, I can't build that because I don't have a shovel. The only thing I can build if I wanted to build anything is this, uh, either the robot or the obelisk. Uh, again, if I spent a metal that will get me an extra dice uh, that, that turn. I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to go for the two points here. And it should be a wash because um, I'm going to get stuff back. So I'm going to spend the robot for the hammer. And put down this obelisk. That cost me three metal and one energy. And then remember... I gain two energy for building a card, so I'm going to get two energy right back. And I'm going to gain from the scrapyard, I'm going to gain one metal after building a card. So essentially, that um, obelisk only cost me two metal, really, and I actually came out ahead on energy. So I have eight of my uh, ten before I trigger the end game. Surprisingly, I've still obviously no goods. This is the first time I play this where I've never had any goods generated yet. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the AI's turn and then we'll we'll cut to part three. So let's move my dice out of the way. Oh no, you know what? No, I take that back. My mistake. I haven't even finished what I wanted to do with my dice. So I kind of that was a screw up there. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to put the, those two dice right there. That's going to get me um, two more dice for next turn. So I'll be rolling six again. I'm going to put the, these two six right there. That should get me uh, two more metal. And because I'm matching, that'll get me one more metal. And then finally, this five here, I could put that there and get, gain even, even one more metal. So all I did was gain a lot of metal. All right, so now we'll clean these dice up and go to 
the AI's turn. So grab five dice. All right, and he's green three, so one, two, three. He's going to take the refinery, so he puts another yellow card in his tableau. And he's going to go ahead and put out the assembly line. So that takes care of that. And let's move back over here. So he has a four on blue. He has four, so he's going to get a, uh, he's going to generate a point there. Not good. Um, on red, he's got a three. He's only got two, so nothing there. Uh, yellow, he rolled a four. He only has three, so nothing there. Still no purple, uh, so we're okay for that. However, he now has three, four, five, six. He's halfway there to uh, triggering the end. He's going to score a point for every card in his complex, so he's got quite a few points right now. So at the end of this video, let's see what, well, let's do some uh, intermediate scoring here. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got 10 cards right now, so he's 10 points. Plus he gets one point for every good. He's got six, so he's got 16 points. What do I have? Well, I have absolutely no goods, so that's hurting me. I have only buildings. I have one, two, three, four, five. And because I have two monuments here, um, uh, actually, I only have one, one beacon, so that gets me only two points. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he is beating me hands down. I need to start doing something here really quick or I'm going to lose. Hope you enjoy this so far. Uh, stay tuned for part three.